Welcome to our presentation about the PGCE secondary and the PGCE primary at the University of Leicester. I'm Jenny Bosworth and I'm the Director of Teacher Education and also the Head of the Primary PGCE. Myself and Adrian Warhurst, who's the Head of the Secondary PGCE, will be talking you through these slides and giving you a bit of information about how to apply and the different courses that we offer. Our vision is to continually strive to provide high quality opportunities which enable students to develop the knowledge, skills and understanding and attributes to become outstanding teachers who raise the educational outcomes for all children. This is a vision that is shared across our partnership with our mentors that we work with in school so that any trainee teachers have a nice consistency of training across the partnership. We offer PGCE courses in primary and secondary the course duration is one year and it is a campus based programme. The three routes you can follow with the University of Leicester are university led, school direct or SKIT which stands for school centred initial teacher training. Although these courses carry some differences in the way they are delivered, the University of Leicester works in collaboration with all of our partners and you will be awarded a PGCE from the University of Leicester, whichever course you choose. For our university-led courses, we offer the following routes, lower primary, primary and primary with maths. For secondary, these are the subjects that we offer. You can find out more about both of these courses on the link below. Our school direct partners are listed here. You will see that primary offer lower primary and primary options, while secondary offer the following subjects. Again, you can use the link below to find out more about each individual school direct and which courses they offer. You can see from this map the location of the schools that we work with. We work with a large number of schools and where possible we try and give you contrasting placements so that you will have different experiences across your teaching. The tutors that you work with on the course are hugely knowledgeable in their field. They've all had experience of working in their chosen phase and they really do go above and beyond for our trainees. A real strength of our courses, both the primary and the secondary PGCE, is the support that you will get from your tutors. It's always mentioned in any reports that we have from external examiners. It was mentioned in our Ofsted report and it's always the first thing that students comment on when we ask them about the strength of the course throughout the year. The tutors are there with you every step of the way. They work with mentors in school to really make sure that you are provided with any support and guidance that you need throughout the year. Our SKIP partners are listed below for both primary and secondary. Each SKIP provider will be able to give you further information about the details of their individual provision. You can also find out more using the link below. This section of the presentation gives advice on preparing your application. For the entry requirements to the PGCE programmes, we're looking for at least a 2-1 degree or above. And in primary, that could be across any subject. For primary, we also want to see a grade C or 4 above in English language, mathematics and science. And for the particular primary with mathematics specialism, ideally you would have studied mathematics beyond GCSE. For the secondary subjects, we'd like to see a degree that has a good relationship to the subject you wish to teach in school. And we often use the rule of thumb of 50% of the degree is related to the subject you wish to teach. In terms of requiring a 2-1, uh, some discretion is available for the STEM subjects where we will accept a 2-2. For secondary, the GCSE is required in English language and mathematics. We also like to see an A-level or equivalent in a relevant subject. Overseas degrees will be considered on the basis of their equivalence to a UK degree as well. The personal statement is a really important part of your application. We want you to tell us about your skills. We want us to tell, tell us about your experiences with school, your experiences of working with young people and why you want to chosen, apply for the chosen route. What we don't want you to do is just simply describe what's happened, but we'd like you to tell us what you observed in a classroom. Reflect on your experience and tell us what you've learned. Tell us how that makes you want to be the best teacher you can possibly be. 
super important part of the application is to provide a complete list of your work experience. It's not just the things that are around education, but all your other kinds of employment and voluntary experience. So it's everything, including time spent studying. We should see a full work history from you. So there may be skills that you've acquired from each of the things that you've said, whether they be related to working with children or related to some job that you've had. Also include in particular paid and voluntary employment that you have within any kind of school placement. Do also please give us tutoring experience, experience with scouts, experience with voluntary. But note, one-to-one -one work with children is not the same as a school observation. It's a really good idea to include as many things as possible that are as close to school as possible. We do recognise, however, at the moment that gaining school experience is difficult. So please do not stop an application if you haven't yet gained any school experience. References form a very important part of the application. You'll need to provide two of them. The first one needs to be an academic reference, particularly if you completed your degree within the last five years or due to complete it soon. If you've been out of education for longer than five years, you may include a reference from an employer, but please always make sure that any academic reference is the first one listed. If you don't provide an academic reference, we may not be able to process the application, or we may ask you to provide us with contacts for an additional referee. The second reference, if possible, should be a school reference from where you've had experience in primary. The primary application process particularly wants to see this. We would also like this second reference to amplify any work with young people, for example, sports coaching, scouts, those kinds of community work that you might do. Please note that for this second reference, again, it needs to be somebody who had responsibility for your work, not just somebody you worked with on the scheme. So take some time, talk to the people you would like to be your referees and explain to them why you want to be a teacher so that they're able to provide the best possible reference for you. When you're writing your application and in particular your personal statement, there are a few things to think about when you're doing it. What we'd like to see is a passion for teaching. There's lots of different career developments after you've got your teaching qualification, but actually we want to know why you want to go into teaching in the first place. It's not a good idea to mention the money or the holidays. Make sure that you talk about your commitment to a particular age group or a subject that you want to teach if you're going into secondary. And please really make sure that you proof your, read your application carefully. As a, as a teacher, you're expected to have a, a standard of written and spoken English, so you need to be able to demonstrate this through the selection process. Any experiences that you talk about or write about should be relevant to the understanding of learning of young people, regardless of what age group you're going into. You need to demonstrate that you're reflecting on things, not just telling us what you've done and describing your experiences, but reflecting on those and telling us what you've learned from them and what the process of developing professionally into a teacher means to you. As a PGCE student at the University of Leicester, you'll also be entitled to all of the benefits that the university can give you. This means accommodation, any of the gym facilities, the excellent library and students union, and also if you were to need any support in anything all the way through the year, you also have the student support and welfare services. Thank you so much for watching and listening to our presentation. If you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch with either the primary PGC office or the secondary PGC office. You can also get in touch with our SCIP providers and your school direct providers who will also tell you a little bit about their courses and the similarities and differences. You can then make an informed decision about which route is right for you. Thank you so much and take care.